Okay, so the bishop is swayed. Let's see. He still doesn't like me much, though. A nose for profit. Exquisite assortment of wares, if my lord has a coin. The merchant stall is positively brimming with baubles and haberdasheries. Yeah, we had that event um, already some time ago. Um, I think we'll just we'll just move on. We should probably keep our coin here. What's the war that's happening here? Oh, he's defending against another duke. Okay. He's defending against the the duke of these um of these isles here. Claim on county of Boetia. Now, which county is that? Unfortunately, it does look like he's winning, so... It's too bad. <laughs> yeah, that was just my girlfriend sneezing in the background. Um, I gained 300 life st stewardship lifestyle experience and focus student. Not too bad, actually. Um, okay, war declared on leash. So... Someone is trying to, to overthrow the Basileus again. And the warrior who just improved his prowess is now wounded. That's just a terrific result here. Counselor Gregoria died of old age. Oh, she was the mayor. Okay. So let's see. We do have a new chancellor position to fill here. And appears like it's the next player's turn. Neighboring ruler won. Okay, that's the Duke of Essence who won, right? Yes, that's that's him. Which is unfortunate. My daughter Antonia is more likely to receive a good education due to Countess Romilia's tutelage. That's nice. Curious, compassionate and arrogant. That's not the best education for her in that case. Um, maybe it's diplomacy again. Or oh, instead, right? Or well, can only change the focus once. Okay, so... Yeah, I think it's it might actually be a mistake to... Um, to set the focus that early. So we should probably keep that in mind. Yeah, let's try to increase our gold gain here. Oh, there's the white bear again. I'm out with my retinue in Mistra when the road twists and takes us close in the mountains. 
to the mountains. It is there that I see it once more, shimmering in the sun, the white bear. I turn to late the others, but as I turn back, the bear is already gone. That's a critical stress break. Severe health penalty. So let's check again. What does um, being reclusive do? Oh, yeah, I just selected that. Stewardship minus one, diplomacy minus two. That's not great. But we should try to get the stress down either way. Fortunately, that will cost us 50 gold here. But nothing we can do about it, I think. Welcome, friends. Mutual spirits. What started as an ordinary feast become an exceptional one thanks to the presence of Countess Romilia. We spoke all evening about all manner of subject and as things would have it, we seem to have a lot in common. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Um, to have a lot of things in common with your wife. A laudable effort. As the feast is underway and our guests are eating and drinking merrily, Mayor Alexandros approaches Romilia and me at the great table. This is a marvelous feast. All my compliments to the host. So either I can gain 150 prestige but my wife hates me, or I can gain household effort. Which increases the opinion of direct vassals and courtiers and guests. And also the opinion of my wife. Do I grab the prestige here and further alienate my wife? That's the question. No, I don't think so. Hmm. Compliments for the bishop. He's diligent, patient, and generous. And a bastard himself, okay. Um, relentless courage, loyalty, and sense of honor. Maybe Relentless Courage? Oh, what is happening here? Christian pilgrims to the Holy Land suffer all manner of abuse and their roots are fraught with danger. In order to protect the pilgrims and secure Jerusalem for Christ and the faithful, His Holiness Pope, Pope Honorius has accepted the possibility of an outright invasion by joint Christian forces. Theological ramifications of this news are already being discussed by the Ecumenical Patriarch and other notable members of our clergy. We are eager to follow the example of the Catholics and begin a new age of religious warfare in the name of Orthodoxy. Christian faiths have now access to Crusades. Okay then. Feast as my guests depart. With everyone headed for their respective homes, I'm proud to say that the feast was a success. I have my wife Romilia to thank for much of its success, and I feel nothing but gratitude as she sees the last guests off. Ah, oh, got 150 fame either way. Nice. And I have died, so. All of that feasting did absolutely nothing for us here. Rests in the arms of the Lord at age 52. He died of natural causes, renowned for his excellent skills as a steward and a ruler. Count Artemios ascends to the throne of formidable duelists with many expect him to excel in tournaments and personal combat alike. Is that right? Yeah, that's not a that's not a great duelist. Aspiring blade master, arrogant, impatient, and at least just. 
but he does have excellent stewardship, so... And he's intelligent. Maybe that will help. Does have an intelligent wife as well. Okay, so we continue as the son and unfortunately lost the county to the brother again. Um, yeah, Leash is offering us the position of Chancellor, that's nice. And the Bishop hates us. Let's check with the other members of the council. Do I have a better spy master than her? Unfortunately I don't, so swaying her should be the highest priority here. Why don't we have a marshal anymore? That's weird, actually. Okay, so... The council... Oh, hi, Blaze! Um, now I have no idea what that is. Please elaborate. Lifestyle chosen. Let's go for stewardship here. And a oh, wealth focus it is. First counselor died of old age. Yeah, that's a great start to great start to this reign here. Okay, we should probably try to attack our little brother as soon as possible. Let's see. Can we afford mercenaries? We could. Well, we could afford one band of mercenaries of light footmen. We would need to save a bit more to actually grab the pikemen. Okay. So we do have a lot of, of swaying people to do here. Um, I think we should should get to it then. First in line to inherit the county of Messania. Yeah, we could do evil stuff instead. I mean, not saying that I want to, but we could go for a little murder scheme here. Do we though? That's... how old is the child? Let's see. He's 11. So in order to inherit the county, I would have to murder my 11 year old brother. Which is... Probably not that great of an idea. Instead, I think... Um, we'll just declare war as soon as we can afford um, the, the second mercenary company. Can do that, right? Just... yeah, we do have a claim. Could we also could we also attack the duke? Why would I attack the duke to gain the county of Messania? That doesn't make much sense. That 
cost is just um, 19 prestige. Okay, that's that's doable. We are being raided. Well, the um, Byzantine Empire is being raided somewhere. Your culture has joined the early medieval era. New innovations are available. And my brother wants an alliance with me. Yeah, that's not happening. Oh! That's our first child. Let's see. Viviana. Yeah, okay. I can go with that. Why does... Does my wife hate me? Cultural acceptance. Oh, she's Bulgarian. Okay. Wait. Wasn't that my wife? Apparently not. Whose child was that? Did somebody pay attention? I do not hold my wife close to my heart. I do not hold my wife close to my heart. And the more time I spend with Maya, the more I start to understand why that is. Everything she does gets on my nerves just a little. Okay then. Countess Maya loses 30 opinion of you. Bad relationship. That's not great. Um, okay, let's try to sway the spy master. Or maybe let the cousin handle it. Yeah, she has a way higher concession than I do, so let the cousin handle it. Oh, attentive care. That's nice. That's always welcome. And we can grab the mercenaries, so I think that's what we'll do. We declare war to grab the county and then raise all armies and grab the mercenaries. Reduce the speed a bit. 